Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm obviously driving right now. Um, I wanted to take a minute to talk about how I, I guess how my creative process works on developing products and maybe talk a little bit about why my formulas get tweaked pretty regularly. Now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that other companies do a very similar situation to what we do when it comes to developing products. As far as chemical companies and manufacturers go, chemical companies and chemicals are how do I even put it? The best way to put it is, so there's different brands of the same thing, essentially. So um, there are multiple competitors for polymers, for you know any raw material that's out there. There are multiple companies who make basically the same type of stuff. Uh, one version may be better than another. One version of polymer may be more durable than another, but essentially they're the same thing just a, a spin-off from someone else. And so chemical companies send uh, chemists and you know operations like ours and, and far larger operations different samples all the time. So uh, but we also you know are all out there actively looking for better raw materials. So a combination of companies sending us new versions of the same stuff, and uh, us looking for improvements upon things that are already uh, what we're using. So with that said, when we find something that's better, uh, we test it, or s something that someone claims is better, we test it, and if we find that it's better, we'll go ahead and update it. You know, sometimes we can find a cheaper raw material for less money, and or cheaper for less money, a better better quality for less money. And or maybe um, the bulk discount is better, where we can buy more at a cheaper price of a better product, and that way we're saving money. So obviously we would do that. Better product, less cost is better. So there are a lot of different variables uh, when we update products. It's not necessarily only that um, I'm trying to improve a product, but a lot of times, you know, it's that we just stumble upon something better and it improves uh, the overall outcome of, you know, the product full composition. So whether it's cost savings, whether it's uh, improving quality, which I'm not really a fan of just um, improving a product just to save money, or I shouldn't say improving to save money, I should say changing a product just to save money. I'm, I'm more of like, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Um, but if we stumble across something that does uh, save us some money and doesn't change the way a product uh, performs in a negative way, I definitely want to do that. But the other thing, as far as my creative process, it's, you know, I want things to work well for what I need them to do. You know, I've always been a big fan of, of working things out and developing products based on my needs as a pro detailer, not based on what a lab test will show. Um, I'm not, I mean, lab tests are awesome, that's great. Uh, we do some of that as well, but I, I lean far heavier on my real world experience on how a product performs in the real world, actually out there making money with it um, and pleasing customers than I do on how a lab test uh, shows that it does a great job. Not a fan of lab, lab tests uh, in in the in the big picture, in my opinion. So I want products that fit well with how I like a product to perform, how I how I want it to work. Um, I like products that work well in direct sunlight because you know a lot of guys out there that I cater to are mobile detailers, so they're always outside in the sun and they don't have the luxury of having shade all the time, even if, you know, 
you know, they were carrying around a gazebo, it's not always to just throw one up and use it. So, there are a lot of factors that go into my creative process and or, um, you know, saving money or improving a product. There are lots of different factors in there. But most of the factors that matter for changing my stuff is updating formulas based on getting a better quality product for maybe less money or maybe it costs a little bit more and it improves the product to the point where I'm willing to spend the extra money to give you guys the extra performance, which I would say more often than not, that's what happens. Um, but I do a lot of tweaking with my products based on those those samples that come in and we find better quality products and we improve. How, how much more quality? I don't know. There's no, I mean, it could be a little, could be a lot, but you know, if it's going to be the same and cost me less, I'm going to do that. If it's going to be better and cost a little bit more, I'm going to do that. If it's going to be better and cost me less, I'm always going to do that. So, those are just things to keep in mind when you guys are like, well, didn't you just update this formula or this and that? And I can tell you that many other companies are doing the exact same thing. They just don't tell you when they're updating formulas like I do. Um, I like to keep you guys involved. I, keep, I like to keep you guys in the know on what's going on. I also am not interested in, you know, the line just laying stagnant and not you know, being touched, nothing's being improved, nothing, we're not working on anything new. You don't evolve, you don't continue to push forward, and you don't grow as a company if you're not always trying to better yourself in business and in life and, you know, improving upon the products that are the business is definitely smart practice. Now, I'm always working on new products the problem now with the the product expand the product expansion that I've had over the last couple of years is it's hard to stop producing a product because I've replaced it with another. Just because there is another better product that I produce doesn't mean that people want to stop using what they're already using. So for example, Vitality Shield, it got a big update last year with the acrylic uh, and that kind of thing, and now it's absolutely fantastic. But with Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream, it kind of puts Vitality Shield, I wouldn't say on the back burner, and it definitely doesn't make it obsolete, but Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Tr Cream is, I would say, a derivative of Vitality Shield. We got, you know, the base formula came for that from that. We expanded upon it. We developed a better system based on that original formula <clears throat> that is better but if you looked at you know just what it costs to to make the two products it's cheaper to make the vitality shield which is why you get more for your money so if you're talking about cost to cost you know apples to apples heavy duty car show dream cream you get two ounces in the kit which will give you roughly eight applications for the same price you can get 64 applications of a 16 ounce bottle of Vitality Shield. Now, is Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream that much better where you would spend more money to get fewer applications? Absolutely. That product is absolutely amazing and I would use it over Vitality Shield any day. I know what's in it. You guys know that it has that fantastic acrylic, um, you know, situation that we're using now. But it also, the Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream also has that, that hardener that makes the surface incredibly hard, which is better wash-induced marring resistance, better gloss, better slickness, uh, better long-term protection, uh, more longevity and protection. It's just a better product all the way around. But that's the bottom line is you have to decide what level of protection, what level of gloss, what level of, of, of slickness you want, what level you're okay with. And if you're okay with the Vitality Shield level, which is an amazingly high-end level, far better than most people's sealants that are out there, I can tell you that from personal experience, but you have to decide what level is okay with you. You can go with a lower level of longevity 
if you're into doing regular maintenance. The products that last longer are only better if you don't want to do as much. And if any car enthusiast is going to do regular maintenance, they're going to want to spend the time to put out the effort to do more detailing because they want it to look better and fresher more often and it makes them feel better to be a part of that and maybe it's therapeutic to them to be doing it more often. Whatever the case may be, whatever their intent is, you could just get away with juice boost if you're, you know, doing, if all you're gonna do for protection is apply juice boost like once a month or every two months, that's all you need. It's all about the experience you're trying to have with the product that you're using. Um, <clears throat> now, like I said, we designed Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream to be the ultimate in protection and looks and feel. So it gives you the trifecta, if you will, of all the great things that you want in a protective product. Looks, feel, and performance. And that's all you really need. Now when you're talking about more longevity, you lay down a base of force field, or infinite force field, or force field pro, and then put on your heavy duty car show dream cream. I have now, you know, we've been working on this new stuff. You know, everybody's into ceramic, ceramic, ceramic. Um, I personally never gravitated towards a ceramic because I don't feel like it's a su superior product over the acrylic that we're using. I feel like the acrylic offers the same or better protective ability and performance um, with better looks and far dramatically easier effort levels than the ceramic. It's far easier to use the acrylic stuff than this, any ceramic or silica or any of that other fancy stuff that uh, the marketing suggests you need. Uh, acrylic is just easier to use. But because of the marketing bullshit that's out there and whatever, everybody's got to have ceramic, whatever, we started dabbling in some of that as well. I have this new ceramic acrylic. Um, it's a hybrid coating that I'm about to, to launch. And the reality is it is an amazing performer. It's, it's, if I had to say what it's like in my lineup, it's like if you had Force Field Pro and Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream and those two had a love child, that would be it. Just like I told you, Forever Rinseless is like Infinite Use Detail Juice and Infinite Force Field had a secret love child. That would be, FR would be the, uh, the child that came out of that. So with the new ceramic, ceramic acrylic hybrid pro coating, whatever it's gonna be called, it will be called ceramic acrylic something. Because it's a hybrid of the two. It's, it's the best of both, both worlds and it works amazing. Uh, the only difference is you add in the ceramic and you get a little bit more difficulty in application. You get a little bit longer cure time. Um, you know, it's not as easy to use. You have to use it in uh, a cool, dry environment, uh, out of direct sun, sunlight, and uh, that's it. So you, it's a little bit more picky to install than the Force Field uh, Pro and or uh, the Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream with only the acrylic technology. So my creative process comes from multiple different things. I'm always looking to one-up myself and do better for you guys. The expansion of the product lines has come from, like I mentioned before, it's hard after you've already started selling something and got people hooked on the performance of one product to take it away from them. I can't just give you something and improve upon it and take it away. Now what I could do is update a formula and then just call it the same thing, but things change more dramatically than that. It's not as easy as just changing a formula. Um, with, you know, the advancements of Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream over Vitality Shield, the whole application process changed. So the product actually changed. So I can't label Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream that now has two parts Vitality Shield. I can't do that. 
people are used to the application process in the Vitality Shield. So I had to create a whole new product around the new formula and application process, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so I'm just trying to explain my thought process when I'm doing things. Um, I'm just more vocal about it than most companies are. I want you guys to be involved in what I'm doing. I want you to understand better what's going on. Um, now I don't talk a lot about the nitty gritty. I'm not a chemist. I don't do that part. Um, I can tell you that I'm far more involved in the, uh, the development of products and the engineering that goes behind it than I ever was before. I know a lot about the chemistry. I know a lot about formulating. I know a lot about what different chemicals do and how they work. I know a lot about that, but that's not what my background is. My background is using this stuff in the real world, developing it to the point where I can make money with it and getting it out to you guys, marketing, advertising, selling, doing that kind of thing for you guys uh, in your detailing businesses. So I leave the chemistry up to my chemist and that's it. I am involved in development and R&D and all of that stuff and I have my hand in everything for sure. But I'm not the chemist. I leave the nitty gritty technical to him and I worry about how things work in the real world and selling it to you. That's what I do. And um, you know, and the, that's, that's in a nutshell what goes on. If it's not a cost situation, which even if I can improve something and it costs me a little bit more money, I do what I can not to have to change your price. I don't want to have to change your price ever. Unfortunately, as time goes goes by, things get more costly for me to acquire, which means they got to cost you more. That's it. That's the bottom line. If it costs me more, I try to eat some of that if I can't, if it doesn't make sense, if it's not feasible for business, unfortunately, the cost has to be higher for you to purchase. So that's where we're at with that. But mostly I'm just trying to, I wouldn't say keep up with the Joneses because I don't compete with anybody but myself. I'm not, I've always had the mentality that I'm only as good as I was yesterday. I want to improve upon that. So every day I want to be better than the day before because you're only as good as the last product or job or whatever you've produced. The last thing you did, that's as good as you are until the next job or the next product or whatever that brings your definition of you and your worth and quality to the next level. So I'm always trying to improve and be better. And that's it. And that's what I do for you guys day in and day out is always try to improve and develop processes and products to better serve not only the enthusiast, but also pro and amateur detailers alike. So that's a little bit about my creative process. Um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope it, I mean, that's a simplified answer. Cost, quality, and technology are really the reasons I develop new products. And you can't just take something away when somebody likes it. I've done that in the past, doesn't work well. And the reality is it's bad for business because I'm losing money on a product that somebody already got hooked on and already loves if I just take it away from them. And the other reality is if I produce a different product that's better than that, I potentially can sell more of both products because people will see the differences. So it's a win-win for everybody for me to be as vocal as I am, but it also is tough because people buy in bulk and by the time they're halfway through what they have, I've already got something else or a tweak that's coming out. I can tell you that I'm usually pretty vocal in whether a tweak is a small tweak or a large tweak, um, but if you guys ever have any questions, just let me know. I mean, uh, I'm working on lots of different things right now. I can tell you that there aren't very many things in the Infinite lineup that are getting worked on. I am working on Evo All-in-One. I am uh, working on developing uh, lesser expensive polishes. That's gonna be a while though. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, Evo All-in-One and Evo Shampoo are gonna get a better acrylic update pretty soon. Um, 
and what else? I mean, I've got that ceramic acrylic thing that I'm working on, which is actually done. Uh, I'm just waiting on uh, labels now. And then I, I also haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna make that a pro only uh, coating or whether I'll release it to the masses, I'm not sure. But there's a few other things I'm working on. I'm working on, well, I, I, <laughs> I can't tell you that right now. There's uh, something pretty cool I'm working on. It's gonna be separate, a, a totally different situation. Um, it, not related to any of the current lines, so don't worry about that. But the force field protection system, infinite force field just got an update. Awesome update, very good update. Um, more hardener, more acrylic. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's better than ever. So the for, infinite force field product has definitely been updated. And then, uh, like I said, Evo All-in-One and the Evo Shampoo get, get a new acrylic uh, situation soon but that's it grip launch uh i may be expanding some of that i'm not sure i do have hyper concentrates of that where we've been working on for a while but really nothing extravagant going on uh some additions for sure but nothing extravagant but i appreciate you guys for watching my videos i appreciate your trust and support if i can help you with your detail endeavors 813-846-4406 i'm the only product line manufacturer on the planet that gives you his personal cell phone number uh and if i can help you with anything please let me know i can't help you if you don't use the number uh check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my process and what i've got going on but also one dollar guys credit store credit for any uh pictures you post on your social media uh, of my products my retail full retail package label and all of that if you take pictures one dollar store credit for every picture tag me in those uh at gary.dean.35 on instagram and then uh on facebook as well uh five dollar store credit guys for every video you shoot using my products whether it's a product demo which would definitely help me out or if it's just a uh you know maybe uh, uh this is how you use it or this is the results i got show the product in the video i'll give you five dollar store credit now that store credit is going to bank uh on its own it cannot be used for any sales or anything like that and it's it's valid on regular priced items uh when you accumulate enough uh in that bank uh you can use that on anything you want so anyway thanks for watching guys i appreciate you if you got any questions about this video or anything else uh please let me know 813-846-4406 have a wonderful day guys thanks again for watching